In this demonstration, we want to access a virtual machine running in Google Cloud Platform over the internal IP. Because we don't want to put an external IP on the address exposing this virtual machine to the internet. However, we still need a way to SSH into the machine from our office or wherever it is that we do our work. We're going to use Google's Identity Aware Proxy to solve this problem, where we're able to access the virtual machine securely over an SSH connection, but without exposing the asset to the internet. So to get started, we have the system here whose name is Bastion Host. We also have tagged this asset so we can apply firewall rules to it without having to use the IP address. We go down under the networking tags, we see that there are two tags, Bastion Host and IS Host. And you want to use tags to create firewall rules because you don't want to have to use the IP, first of all, but also you want any future assets that end up having that same tag to inherit the firewall rules so we don't have to keep editing the firewall rules. A bit of background information on the demo, I used the Matilda Terraform project to build out this demo environment. It's written in Terraform and can set the environment up for us, but any virtual machine, you should be able to recreate this functionality. So let's take a look at the gcloud command that we're going to use to connect, and we'll break this down. So we're going to do gcloud compute SSH. One of the options, and this is the key option here, is tunnel through IAP, which is tunneling through Identity Aware Proxy. That tells gcloud to connect to Google's Identity Aware Proxy servers, and then proxy that connection through those servers to the Bastion host. That way, we don't need the Bastion host to be on the internet because the Identity Aware Proxy servers are on the internet. We can go through them. We still need to pass the SSH key that we're going to use to authenticate to the virtual machine, just like we always would. And we still need to log into it the same as always using our username and the name of the host. So Google tells us that they're writing the keys to the host, and now we're logged in. So I'm logged in as my own account, and the host name is, of course, Bastion Host, the computer that we logged into. Now let's look at some caveats to using the Identity Aware Proxy. First of all, the account that I'm using in gcloud has the tunnel through iap permission so you need to have that role but that's the only role that's required to use identity anywhere proxy otherwise you just need to have the normal access to the virtual machine that you would have to have anyway also we kind of glossed over how does the google identity where proxy servers connect to our virtual machine well to do that we have to have a firewall rule to look at the firewall rule, we're going to go to the VPC network and then firewall. And we'll take a look at the rule that was created by, in our case, the Terraform script. So we have this rule, allow SSH to bastion host from Identity Aware Proxy. The target is going to be the tag that we set on the bastion host. In this case, I used the bastion host tag. You'll recall that there was also an IS host tag as well that I could have used. And we're going to use port 22 because we're trying to SSH in. Here's the trick that we need to know. The Google Identity Aware proxies are always going to be within this IP address range. And this is documented on Google's website. It's this firewall rule that allows the Identity Aware proxies, which have an IP somewhere inside of this range, to use port 22 to connect to the Bastion host. And these servers are accessible from the internet. So that's how I'm able to connect to those servers from my office and then proxy that connection through them to get to the Bastion host, even though the Bastion host has no IP address on the internet. So when setting up servers in clouds like Azure Cloud and GCP, you always want to make sure that you do not expose any of your virtual machines to the internet itself. 
always use the jump server feature of that particular cloud. And in the case of GCP, they have provided the identity aware proxy.